We will be on agenda five, but before we do that, um, this is truly an opportunity for having the bully pulpit as your mayor, and I'm willing to take advantage of that before we uh, begin our public comment. So good morning to all of you and to those of you who are here, and thank you for joining us today here in our city hall chambers. Each one of us in front of you and online, who we will be calling upon throughout the morning, sought your vote, sought your vote to be elected as your representative on this city council. Whether for your individual ward, wards one through six, or as me to be elected citywide, we asked for your support to let us lead this city, and you gave it to us. You elected us. Being your representatives, we each swore under oath to uphold the charter of the city of Las Vegas, to support and uphold the laws and constitution of the state of Nevada and of the United States of America. We swore to represent your government and to do the jobs that running this community demand. Thus, we are here doing exactly as elected to do, our jobs. Essential, multifaceted jobs. We do not have the freedom to sequester or stay at home unless we are either sick ourselves or caring for the homebound school aged children that the state has ordered to be there. Any more than do our first responders to whom we are so indebted and so grateful. Those working in law enforcement, healthcare workers, even our volunteers who are lending support in so many jobs that have been deemed the only essential ones. We have to be here as your representatives. This shutdown has become one of total insanity, in my opinion, for there is no backup of data as to why we are shut down from the start. No plan in place how to move through the shutdown or how even to come out of it. According to experts with whom I have spoken, this virus is not going away. It's not gonna be going away this month, next month, and much like the flu and other viruses that have impacted populations around the world, this virus or a derivative thereof will be part of what we work through going forward. We are a state, and I give this to you, Madam Clerk, and if you can hold it up so the camera can pick it up. We are a state of 3.2 million people, and we'll soon find out how that changes as we go through our census shortly. 2.3 of us live down here in southern Nevada. Tragically, we have already lost to this virus 128 individuals in Nevada, many with complications attributed in part to COVID-19. Let me assure you that our sympathies and condolences to those who've lost friends and loved ones. But let me tell you, with a population of 3.2 million living in Nevada, those whom we've lost represent less than a half of 1% of our population, which has caused us to shut down the entire state and everything that makes Nevada unique. Of the estimated 900,000 who have lost their jobs, 300,000 have already filed for unemployment. 
300,000 have filed for unemployment. These are families that no longer have the ability to buy food for their children and other loved ones, pay their bills, pay their rent, pay their mortgage, pay their car payment, or enjoy the life that they had prior to this shutdown. Parents have no income to feed their children and just meet basic costs. Small businesses and those on week-to-week -week paychecks have been forced to close. Entire savings that were invested in these small businesses are being lost or have already been lost. Hotels and restaurants, our entire tourism and convention industry business has been shut down. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. From my perspective, we must open our city. We must open Southern Nevada, and we must open the state of Nevada. We cannot live going forward with the medical and health industry telling us that this virus is going to be around longer than a month or two, maybe even a year. We cannot keep our heads in the sand and think it's going to go away. We're adults with brains who can know what to do to wash our hands, to take all precautions not to spread this disease. But we cannot put our heads in the sand and think it's going to go away. From my perspective, I am asking, open the city, open Clark County, open the state for heaven's sakes, for being closed is killing us already and killing Las Vegas, our industry, our convention and tourism business that we have all worked so hard to build. The longer we wait to do this, the more impossible it will become to recover and become and return to the home we all know and love. And we are here sitting in front of you, loving this community, appreciating being your representative, and looking forward as soon as possible. Remember the data. The data is less than one half of one percent tragically have been lost and the entire 3.2 million people have been brought to their knees. So we will move on to public comment, and I am not taking the privilege of that other than speaking for myself as your mayor in Las Vegas, elected by the totality citywide and all wards. So we are on agenda five. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. The amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. All comments made will be cross-referenced to those specific items. If anyone submitted a speaker card who wishes to speak under this portion of the agenda, please come to the podium and state your name for the record. This is your opportunity to address the council, but the council is not able to respond or engage in dialogue. Madam Clerk, we will set the time at uh, one minute, and I'm going to ask our city clerk at this point um, to read um, and inform